everyone join me on another fossil hunt down one of my local beaches on the Yorkshire coast. I got up at 4am this morning and I'm making my way along the top of the cliff and now down the path all the way onto the beach. The steps down onto the beach can be quite slippy and overgrown in certain places but it's not too bad at the moment. So I've managed to get down onto the beach now and I've noticed it's absolutely full of seaweed. Hopefully it clears up around the corner over there. You can see the amount. Quite a few flies knocking about also. I spotted this nodule with a ammonite poking out of it that had gotten itself stuck in the mud or clay. I'm going to use my chisel to try and pry it out. It released with very little force. Hopefully you can spot the edge of the ammonite poking out of the rock here. So I'm going to use my time very carefully. I've just picked up this piece here. Uh, shale slab, but you can see it's absolutely full of freshly exposed ammonites Elegantisserus by the look of it. Hopefully you can pick them up on there Lovely to see I always love finding these little ammonite specimens already popped like this on the beach Often they can pop with a perfect middle and just a bit of sea wear. Not sure if you can make it out on the camera but there is a little baby deer over there on the cliff. Just pick this pebble up and on the other side there's an already opened Dactyliosaurus ammonite definitely worth bringing back. I'm going to give these three bits a crack open. There's definitely a little elegant inside this nodule here. This one was actually completely empty. empty. I did manage to have a little bit more luck with this one though. And there is a lovely little elegant citrus inside here. If you are interested in purchasing your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called biofossil.com. I've got a bunch of really high quality ammonite pieces and quite a bit of fossil burr. And I've also got quite a few really nice specimens to upload in the next few weeks or so. So definitely take a look if you are interested. I'll ship your orders worldwide. So I'm just making my way back up off the beach now. I'm not sure if there'll be any other finds, but if there is, I'll be sure to show them. And when I get back home, I'm gonna show you a really special find that I found about a month or two ago, and I've just had it back from preparation. The little beach-worn Dactyliosaurus inside there. You can see the keel just hanging out of the edge. Nice little find, and it should pop open really well. I've just picked up this really lovely looking Bellamite which is quite a chunky example. I'm guessing it's not fallen from the cliff very long. It's preserved in this shale piece of rock here. It's got a nice little tip at the end as well. Usually that's one of the first bits to break. So I'm back up from the beach now, not the most productive day but I've got quite a few little bits. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and show you that really rare find. But first of all, I'm going to run the footage from when I originally found it. I managed to spot this out of the many thousands of rocks which were washed up together at low tide. It turned out to be something a lot more special than I had thought. So initially I did think they were ichthyosaur paddle digits. So I gave them to my friend Ryan who has done a brilliant job at preparing them for me. And they came back and there was two plesiosaur paddle digits which is so much more rarer for the Yorkshire coast. Any plesiosaur remains are very sought after. This is definitely a new one for my collection. I'm really happy with how these have turned out. Really nice prep and a very rare find. Plesiosaurs were large carnivorous marine reptiles that swam in the Jurassic seas. They moved through the water using their four flippers or paddles. They had super strong jaws and very sharp teeth. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see my future fossil finds.